Before we get there, I know I just interrupted you one more time. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Comment down below some of your ideas if you're willing to help other people in the in the channel on in the comment section. So feel free. Some products always helps people out, especially those that are new trying to figure this thing out to get ideas. All right. So I did some Google research, some product research, and I just I was coming across, you know what? We've got not quite a week until Christmas, a little less than a week. We got five, five, four or five days till Christmas. And once you see this video, there's only gonna be like three days till it. But after that, there's a whole week until New Year's Eve and New Year's. So people have crazy New Year's parties. And I was thinking, as long as you're using Amazon or something with a really quick turnaround, like three days or so, um, if you're comfortable using Amazon, if you have that option, one, some of these products work. If not, we'll try to find some other things for you. But I'm looking at New Year's stuff and I'm like, okay, what do people want to buy for New Year's? Like Christmas is going to happen and then people are going to turn around and be like, crap, I want to have a New Year's party or I'm going to one and I don't have any New Year's Eve stuff, New Year's celebration type things. I got to get that stat. So um, I, I was just, you know, I typed in New Year into Google Trends just to see if anything pops up. And I, I changed the filter to set the last seven days and the, the other filter to shopping. And you can see there's a little bit of an uptrend right here on the graph. Um, it's kind of hard to tell, but if you zoom out to like 90 days, you can definitely see that it's going up. And if you zoom out to 12 months, like no, like whatever. So right around this time last year, there's a huge spike right before New Year. Or that's February for some reason. That's weird. But over here, right before New Year's, there's a huge spike. And then over like coming up to New Year's right now, there's this there's this uptrend. So again, this is just searches. It doesn't necessarily mean that people are shopping for New Year's stuff, but I did change it to shopping and these results do match. Now, under related queries, there's New Year's nails 2022. So there's going to be people out there getting their nails done um, with cool 2022 designs for New Year's parties and stuff. Maybe it's a 300% increase in search results. Maybe. I, I'm not going to do this, but I, I, I'm not against it. If you were to sell like press on nails that maybe have 2022 or New Year designs on them, those might just sell. They might just sell. That's not the route I'm taking, but I just thought about that. Of course, that makes sense. Even to anybody else would look at that and be like, all right, I'm going to sell some press on nails um, with, for New Year's parties. So go for it. In fact, let's, um, I'll, we'll get to that later. But underneath here, Hallmark movies, not really anything we need to care about unless you want to try to drop ship some movies, but I really doubt anybody's worrying about that lately. New Year's goodie bag ideas. So that, that search kind of made me stop for a second. Like, okay. 250% increase in New Year goodie bag ideas. That's the stuff people are Googling. And then underneath on the fifth one, it says Happy New Year gift ideas. So I'm not the type of person that goes to New Year's parties that have like little baggies for everybody or like party favors and stuff like that. But I forget that I, not everybody else in the world isn't like me. So that doesn't mean people aren't doing those things. Obviously, there's two search results in the top five that are similar compared to the rest of them. And this must be a thing. So I started Googling it and I came up with some, I, some top results were like this Pinterest thing where it's like seven New Year's Eve party favor ideas. I'm like, oh, okay. Well, that's cool. And you know, there's the little blow things where you like blow it out and it's like a little, it like unravels and makes noise. And uh, there's Hershey's Kisses and I'm sure little like fake champagne things. You scroll down and I just try to look in these. I'm like, okay, oh, okay, what, okay. Okay. And I'm like, what are, what are in these? And you kind of see like this flat lay right here, this image of all this stuff. That's not really stuff you're going to be, that's not a typical, I'm sure. But you're, you're looking at like glitter bags. These are kind of cool. These table setting things, these napkins. It's always white, gold, and black. Like that's always New Year's stuff. Um, these bags that have like these um, like blow toy things attached to the, the tops of them. That's pretty cool. We have sparklers. I don't know if you can sell those. I don't know if those will get flagged. Um, and stuck under review or not, but look at like little party hats. Um, here's some different, those are Thanksgiving table stuff. Um, but yeah, I mean, we got balloons, the ring, ring in the new year bells, all sorts of stupid stuff. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's see. I just typed in new year party favor in Amazon. And so new year party favors. And what do we get? We get stupid 
glasses that light up. We've got stupid beads and stupid other like blow noise things, fringe noisemakers. And what do you know? Hats, um, headbands, probably like glasses. I know you guys have seen those for in, in past years. So, well, I guess we just went over some glasses. We know what I'm talking about, the ones that say like the number on them and stuff. We got balloons up here. These might be some stuff for some really quick sales that are just going to die off right after <laughs> right after New Year's, probably a couple days before. So I think these are a good idea. I, I think these are definitely a way to go. And yeah, I love how I type in New Year stuff and like party favor ideas and these these stupid pop toys that are like the current fidget spinner of the year. Like, I I don't know. Apparently everybody has sensory problems. Like everybody needs these, I guess, for anxiety. Cool. Um, ooh, like some tattoos, temporary tattoos are cool. I love that. Like just go in and list some of these Christmas tree popper things. Fantastic. But the, like check out these things. These things are going to be something that you're going to sell. I, when I get done with this video, after I get done editing it, I'm going to come back in and list some of these things, get a head start on you guys. So that, uh, if they sell, they sell. But let's go back to, because um, this is the obvious stuff. Feel free to list all of this, like any of these. I don't know if you can really go wrong, honestly. Uh, especially this. Like, okay, look at the thumbnails for like, this looks like so much crap. A um, hundred party accessory. Now it doesn't say a price, so I'm sure I'm sure you have to go pick one. But this whole like kit for forty bucks. I mean, I bet you could list that thing for like ninety bucks, hundred bucks probably. Because you think about it, the people having big parties are like, ah, oh, yeah, throw a hundred bucks at decorations. I get all this crap. All my decorations are done. Sweet. Look at these stupid New Year fedoras. <laughs> Those are cool, and they look they light up in this little thumbnail here. Cool. So, 2022 glasses. Ah, oh, this is cool. Even though I think it's just fairy lights. Okay, anyway, let's go back. And that whole idea with the New Year's nails, I have not looked before I started the video, so we're just going to look together. Now I'm just kind of having fun on the video. Uh, feel free to follow along and like the video if you haven't already, because now I'm just having fun with you guys. This is what I want to do more, rather than worrying too much about stuff. So, New Year press on nails let's see okay well if you i don't see new year versions these kind of work and when you're listing these things make sure you put in even if you list something that's not like an absolute new year like like you could totally list these nails right here as new year press on nails or something uh, same with these any of that gold black and white stuff it's going to be very obvious new year look but make sure you use new year like in the titles and stuff and like keyword that in so that people when they're searching find that stuff might not sell might sell though i'm not i'm not gonna lie let's um let's go ahead and click on happy new year gift ideas don't know if this is going to get us anything i just want to see if there's other searches that are like kind of going to pop up um nintendo switch year in review <laughs> like in the moment refreshing it this popped up as a breakout search result okay new year's goodie bag stuff let's see if this brings anything else okay so um new year gift steam gift card gift for 12 year old new year gift fantastic all right um so now what i'm going to do is um new year's party New Year's Nails. Okay, this popped up again. New Year's Eve Party Food Buffet. Hmm. I forget. People are going to want food. So um, let's do Kitchen Buffet. I knew I was going to get furniture. I'm sure you could list these, but don't, don't anticipate listing these for New Year's purposes. But these are kind of cool. Like, look at that. That's really damn cool. It's like a little hutch slash buffet thing. I think that'd be, look at that, it's got like wine stuff. And now we're just off in product research land. All right. Um, food warmers. Food warmer, let's do that. All right, we got this little hot plate thing. This is the kind of the stuff I was looking for, these right here. These sell. Like, I've sold some of these in the past. I haven't listed them in a long time, though, but look at this fancy-ass thing. Like, that... People who are the type of people throwing like big New Year's parties, this is the kind of stuff that they're going to get to impress. And if they can get it, 
real fast because of Prime and they don't know any difference and you list this thing for like 200 bucks instead of 150 or 160, take your little chunk of profit. They get two of these, so they're like, ooh, yeah, those look expensive. Yeah, 200 bucks makes sense. Do it all day. Okay, any, like, look at that damn thing. Look at that, that's cool. If you have a shop, list that damn thing because that's cool as hell. You might even get restaurants using that, like little local restaurants who have to cater stuff. All right, but more stuff like this. Like, look how much stuff is in there if you listed that for like 250 bucks. All that stuff that's in there, the warmers, the gas stuff, the trays, and the, the little holders. No brainer. All this. No brainer listed. Okay, um, let's just see if there's anything else we can come up with. New Year's Eve party ideas at home. Let's, let's, uh, yeah, let's change this to home. And again, I say again, like I brought that up in this video. What I would do, uh, okay, I'm all over the place. Hold on. None of that's helpful. Okay, let's go to eBay. If I could, geez, if I could type correctly. eBay. I'm going to type in new year here. Oh, dude, pop-ups piss me off. All right, new year. All right, look at all that stuff. Apparently there's a lot of PlayStation Plus going on with New Year stuff. All right, I'm gonna open up my FBM Fox research tool and I'm just gonna hit search just so I can get some numbers. Um, if any of this sells, this is kind of really generic stuff. Like there's face masks and crap, so who cares? But let's uh, let's just see if any of this stuff sells. It may not, because none of this stuff looks very cool to me. I'm gonna type in New Year party. I, and this, here's what's tricky is, I don't expect much results with the research tool on eBay for this one. I could do, you know, I could do it on here all day and like it'll give me numbers and it'll say this thing sold thousands and thousands of times. But again, on Amazon, of course, this stuff sells thousands and thousands of times. Like it, it's just going to because it's Amazon. Like like this one right here, it says it sells almost three thousand dollars, three thousand sales a month almost 400 like yeah these things sell but it's it's out of four people who sell this one they sell it this much a month this thing might be kind of cool remember you can always use the research tool on amazon too but a lot more crap is going to show up green than on ebay because this stuff just i mean amazon is what sell damn this is kind of cool <laughs> this dutch oven warmer thing i'm listing that you guys can't take that from me even though you just saw it in the video okay but um, yeah, like this is, it's a lot more stuff's gonna pop up green. So feel free to use it on Amazon. It does give you a good idea. Like, you know, like this one sells, sold $72,000 worth. It sold a th sells a thousand a month. Like, okay, that's pretty damn cool. That one might, you know what, I'm gonna list it. But uh, I still like to get a little bit more of a fine result from eBay just because the, the buyers on eBay are gonna be a lot more similar to the buyers on Facebook Marketplace than the buyers compared to Amazon because people who like people who shop on Amazon are shopping on other places like yeah and remember that when you're like well everybody's going to check Amazon no they're not there's a lot of people who just hate Amazon and refuse to use it because they think it's like too big of a business and like too rich so they're like f Amazon like they're they're just scummy and giant corporate and I'm like all right F Amazon. Okay, none of this New Year stuff on eBay sells. <laughs> so don't listen to the eBay thing. But a bunch of it sells on, um, well, this is food warmers. Let's get numbers for New Year's Eve. I'm just going now. I'm just going. Okay. Um, Sweet. Yep, that's what we want. Open up that FBM Fox tool. FBM Fox, if you want to check that, out, check that out, it's in the description. Coupon code down there. There's also a free listing tool. Feel free to check it out, but still use my code and link because if you ever decide to pay for anything, you'll get that discount. All right. Cocktail party dress. Look at this thing. This isn't even, this sells, three, this is $109,000 in revenue. Sweet. Okay. $6,000 a month in revenue, 43 sales a month, one competitor for this exact sell. Um, cool. I mean, again, a lot more stuff is going to show up green, mainly because I only have it as they need to sell at least 15 and uh, a max competitors of five because that's set up for eBay. But this gives us some numbers. I run it more to see what the numbers are. Um, you can see this thing is just a movie. It literally sells none. So uh, keep that in mind. None. No sales. 
I don't, that doesn't, that doesn't make sense. Okay. No sales. So maybe these things are listed from like last year. Yeah, they're generic. They're not like 2022 or anything. They're generic ones. So um, the 2022 ones are definitely going to be the ones people are buying right now because they that's like part of how it all works. Anyway, this video is already way longer than I expected it to be. Either way, there's those tattoos again. Um, you can tell not that much probably because they don't cost very much. It's only it's 43 sales a month, but it's only 600 bucks. So this price of an item might be something that you can actually sell, mark up and make some money on. All this New Year stuff, that's all I'm saying basically is list a bunch of New Year stuff into this next two week period. Not for long term wins, but short term wins, just as a little boost as the year ends. So thank you so much for watching. If you want to support the channel, support me, I do have a course if you're, if you're new and you're looking into drop shipping and you're like, oh man, I came across this video because I wanted to get some easy items to sell. Uh, cool, but also I have a course if you're interested. Right now, it's only 75 bucks still until the beginning of the year where I'm gonna raise the price a lot more, probably like to 300 bucks. Right now, it's only 75. Once you're in, you're in. Um, if anything gets added to it in the future, you'll already have it and you're not gonna have to pay for it again. Um, if anything gets added, I don't know. But got the course and FB and Fox again is in the description like I already said. Other than that, like and subscribe, of course, so that when I come out with more of these, I'm gonna do... Hopefully two of these a month, at least, where I do products. Subscribe so that you get alerted when I make those videos. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.